Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Doc, and this is the 100 subscriber special. Today, we're going on a complete rampage throughout Knox County, and we're going to attempt to liberate it completely of its zombie problem. But, we're going to have to make a couple stops along the way. So, to do that, I've brought in the big guns. We have an Oshkosh with a trailer, and we are ready to take on the world. Now, some of the main goals for this challenge are, I want to visit the Rosewood Prison, the Louisville Mall, and I want to visit the Country Club in Riverside. Not in that particular order. But the rules for this challenge are as follows. Kill every zombie that you possibly can. Yeah, that's about it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, to start out, let's go ahead and see how much fuel we have. Pretty fair amount. This should get real interesting real fast. Um, get ready. Boing. So I do want to check something though. That said that I could enter. Yeah, this doesn't look like a crime scene at all. Um anyway, you know what? We we'll we'll deal with this later. We'll deal with all that later. For now, let's hit the dust trail and try to figure out where we are. I think I know where we are cuz we typically Typically, this is around about where it all starts during the some challenges. Actually, never mind. I have no idea where we are. We'll figure it out soon. Quite a few undead around here. I want to save the vehicle the best I can. So, our zombie rampage doesn't exactly begin right off the bat. First, we need to lock and load, make ourselves completely prepared for anything that could be thrown at us. However, I do, I do see an opportunity here. Let's go ahead and try to get some medical supplies. that'll be any any use to me but maybe um anything no fair enough seems to be one more zomboid coming this way anything on you not really all right we'll take a digital watch Seems good to me. Not seeing anything else coming, so. Oh, yes. We'll equip one of those on our back. Grab the other one. Grab those bandages, suture needles. Top in. What do we got? Bandages, alcohol wipes, a Louisville map, a scalpel. I'm not sure what good a scalpel's gonna be, but I don't know, maybe. I wanna check under the hood, see what we got going on. Everything's terrible, just as I suspected. Alright. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's go ahead and enter here. 
We got ourselves a cozy little trailer. Uh, definitely blood stains. But, um, yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, it could be. Sorry, what? Very nice. Didn't even look in these. Very nice. Well, just for that, we'll keep this one box just because it has the Peterbilt or Petyar Built 379 magazine in it, which we'll definitely be reading later. So we got that red. Let's go over to our med bag, our trauma bag, and dump a bunch of trauma into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two adhesive bandages, some a pack of alcohol wipes, and leave that with me. That we can dump in there. Okay. Cool. Now let's just go ahead and head back out. Alright, let's check the back of the other vehicle. Just to see what's all, what all's in there too. Can't get in there. Can't get in there though. Alright. Got a Chevalier Cosmo key. Nice. Mm, not, I don't really plan on taking up smoking. Empty bottle, leather, gloves, first aid kit. Halfway full propane tank. Grab all those screwdrivers. Holy guacamole. Metal bars for possible upgrades, wires, anything in that trash bag, no. Alright, fair enough. Let's go ahead and take this back to the truck. Alright. Got a first aid kit. We'll go ahead and wear some leather gloves. Uh, we can drop one screwdriver and put the other in there. And that one we will keep on us. Wire can go in the trauma bag. Metal bars also can go in the trauma bag. All right, man. Let's go ahead and put all that in our backpack. We're gonna have to clean this thing out later, for sure. I'm just wondering. Let's go ahead and get in, get back in the truck. See where we're going. I mean, it might be worth a shot to set up something of a base. I have no idea what's down this road, but we're going to have a look. Like a couple of zomboids. A couple, a lot of zomboids. Let's just move very slowly over them. This truck is very bouncy. Okay, um... Let's start sneaking. Because if I start sneaking, I can probably take on all of these. I just don't want to take them all on at once. Not if I can help it.
Alright. Let's go back here. Maybe the digital watch, some scissors. Scissors will be useful later. More scissors? Okay. I mean, I'm not opposed to taking some scissors, for sure. Alright. So what we want to do is we want to very carefully just sneak around. Hmm, yeah, there's a lot out here. But we have to do it. Baggy jeans, sneakers. Okay. Very carefully. We just want to sneak to the back of this. It's a heavy duty type tire. It might be useful. Alright, let's just try and take out this small horde. Get them away from those trucks. That would be ideal. Yeah, I think this one might see me. Okay, that worked. I'm pretty sure I took down a lot more than that, but... There's a small horde over there, but I'm not too incredibly worried. I'm gonna get into that mass genifac truck too. Let's grab that regular type tire, because we might need that for the truck that we have. Chevalier D20 key, a full battery, another Louisville map, a West Point map, alright, that seems pretty useful, let's just go ahead and smash that window, make sure, okay, I think we're good, Pencil, pen, another Louisville map. So let's switch seats, get to the driver's seat, unlock the doors, unlock the trunk. Metal pipe. Oh yeah. Propane torch and another propane tank. Welding rods. Wire. Small metal sheet, some scrap metal. Yeah. Seems like a good trade-off to me. So let's head back to our truck and see what we can do. You know, I think... Hmm, it's 15. It's not going to fit there. I can put metal pipe. Spare tire. Propane tank. All of that. Some wires. And in our toolbox, we will put welding rods and a propane torch. Uh, yes, yes. Let's put the scissors in our backpack and drop those scissors because we don't need those. Put that battery in there. Head up into our truck. 
And in the glove box, we're going to put these maps. Our writing utensils can go in our backpack, and these digital watches can go in the glove box. Okay. We're going to have a lot to deal with when we get up there. Might as well try and go take them out quietly. Right quick. There's quite a few there. I mean, if I can get away with not dealing with that just yet, and I can go get some water, that'd be nice. I mean, if I can deal with just... Just, just gotta deal with one, I think. I'd just like some water. Have a look inside. Hmm, looks like an event. Windows locked. Also broken. If I had my hammer. Hmm. We need a hammer. Be able to take the door off its hinges. I guess let's go around the house and see. There's a couple back there. The whole farm. Hey, there goes something up there. I might like. All right, let's go ahead and grab what we can. a whole thing here, a whole refrigerator that I might want to take with me. There's another water bottle. Let's grab us some water. A can opener would be really nice. You know, take an empty uh, one of those. Frying, frying pan's nice. Mm, some decent stuff. No can openers, so looks like I'm gonna need to figure out a way. Let's see. Metalwork, carpentry, two books. Engineer. Nice. All right, let's double check upstairs. Okay, safe, I think, for the moment.
Some vitamins. Piece of bandages. Okay. Tweezers, good stuff. Book. Anything? Long gloves. I mean, we could wear that. Yeah, it kind of works. Gun case. We'll have, we'll have that. Some denim jeans. Is there not a doorway right here? Okay, no, there's not a door right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just head back downstairs. And think. Eat an entire thing of cheese real quick. Get our hunger away. Okay. Alright. Let's make our way back to the back to the rig. Cool, cool. ahead and drop off all of our reading materials here. Let's place that. Place that. Place that. Okay. I can't put that in there, so I'll just put it in our other trauma bag. Okay. We can also put vitamins and tweezers would be a good idea to have on us. Put some scissors away. Put watches and batteries away. And an additional water bottle. We can put that in there. Good stuff. Next thing I want to try and do is I, pr I think I want to go ahead and try to get this trailer cleaned out a little bit. If I can. Probably a good idea to go ahead and get some things going and organized. So we'll go ahead and see about doing that. Holy chips and guac. Hi, zombie. Don't ever do that again. Don't ever do that again. What do you got? More stalker stuff. Fishing line. Beer can. Riverside map. I mean, not bad. Not bad equipment at all. 
Go ahead and put those on. Stalker boots. Nice. Let's uh, put on the stalker jacket too. Yeah, we look kind of cool. Let's go ahead and put on the cloak. Oh yeah. We look bad, man. We look real bad. All right, I think we're going to call it a day here. If you're enjoying the Project Zomboid content, feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We'd be glad to have you here. And in the meantime, I'll be here doing my thing. Once again, thank you for 100 subscribers. I'll see you all in the next one.